G'day guys, we are back again. We've got a 2013 Holden Cruise with an engine light on and a uh, hard to crank sometimes. And as you can see, I've just started it up and got into the workshop. This is running at the moment and we have got no taco at all. So I think we can all assume this is gonna be a CKP sensor code, but uh, let's get the scan tool on it, find out what it is, get some live data, and then go from there. So I've just got the brand new Zenith Z5 scan tool which is basically a G-Scan 3 equivalent uh, from the same company, G-Scan Oceania. Um, I've used it a couple of times and it's very, very fast. So I'll just, let's just jump in it and see what we can find. Loads up very quickly. Holden, Australia, cruise, gasoline. Let's go system search. Let's see what we come up with. So instead of system search, I could have just gone directly into uh, ECU or PCM, whatever you want to call it, and come up with that. But let's do the system search anyway and see how it looks. Just fast forward this a bit. It's going to go a bit slow, so bear with me. All right, we are done. So let's just go press show DTC. And there you go. As we suspected... P0335 crankshaft position sensor circuit. So let's just confirm if it's working at the moment. Let's go to live data, powertrain, 1.8 litre. I think it's a LUW, I hope so. Let's go to data analysis, engine data. Yeah, where are we? Engine speed zero, RPM. There we go, we know we've got nothing happening there. So what we're gonna do is while it's failing at the moment, I'm not gonna turn this off and run the risk of jolting something and get it going again. So I'm gonna go outside, find out where this CKP sensor is, have a look if it's a three wire or a two wire. Uh, if it's a two wire, we're gonna wiggle, do a bit of a wiggle test on the connector, make sure there's no faulty connector. And obviously if it's not um, reading correctly, it's, it's likely gonna be the failing sensor, not, not the tone wheel itself, what it's reading. Uh, if it's a three wire sensor, then we're obviously gonna check the power of the ground and the signal wire and see what we get. So let's go out there and find it and I'll get you back up on the screen. So our crankshaft position sensor is on the gearbox end, obviously reading the flywheel uh, and it is in a, a horrible, horrible spot. So this is our connector for it. And obviously we run down and I'm not 100% sure, but I think the starter motor might need to be removed in order to get to it, if you can see that wiring loom follow down there uh, that's highly highly upsetting but what we're going to do is we're going to get the scope on we're just going to go into one wire at a time and three wire sensor obviously we're going to have a probably a five volt feed a ground and a signal wire so we want to make sure that we're getting all of those um, if we're not getting the signal but we're still getting the power on the ground we know that this uh, sensor is faulty so i'll get the scope set up and we'll go from there all right, so we've got the Pico set up. I've got connect detect up so that we know that if we go onto a wire, we want to make sure that we're definitely connected. So I'm going to grab the wire. Let's go for the, let's go for the first one, back probe. And as you can see, we're connected and we've got our five volt feed there. Let's go to the other outside one, which I assume would be the ground, usually the middle one you would think would be the signal but anyway we're going to test them all outside one you can see we're connected and we've got a ground more than likely our ground and let's go to the middle one as you can see we are connected but we have no signal that this crank position sensor has definitely failed uh, i'm going to order a new one in and then i'm going to find out what's involved to to replace it and then I'll show you what we do from there and then we'll retest it. Well, there we are, starter motor is out. As you can see, the crank position sensor goes into the block. Uh, it doesn't look super easy to get to, so we're just gonna get it out and swap it over and go from there. Well, there we are, the old one is out. This is the brand new one. The customer did say that the 
crank position sensor has been replaced already once uh, a while back uh, but obviously this is a junk aftermarket ebay special we've got a genuine gm one going on so let's get it in back together all right the new sensor is in we've got the scope connected so let's go start the car up and see what we get Engine light off, that's a good start. There you go, RPM, and we've got our crank signal on the scope. So that is job done. CKP sensor, aftermarket junk in the bin, new sensor in, on the road. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.